hello and welcome once again to my youtube channel uh thanks for watching in this video i'm going to be showing you how to add contact lens to your model uh these days we don't tend to just edit our model pictures alone uh we decide to help them a lot by modifying their skin and add other stuff other accessories to make them look beautiful so in this particular picture i'm going to be adding a contact lens for us I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply that and, and also I'll be dropping the contact lens uh, in the description below for you guys to download there. So let's start. I'll go to the location where the file is. I'll click and open it. Then I'll these are the four contact lens I have for now. This I use for tech, uh, which is for graphic design. So this other three I can use them for photography for any of my clients uh, depends on the person I'm using it for so let me go with this red one first let's see what it looks like uh, on our model screen so I'm going to click on it then I'll drag it into Photoshop okay so this is the contact lens right now so I'm going to resize it first I'll zoom in to see what I'm doing perfectly. I'm going to just drag it to the left. I'll click OK. Uh, before I start to blend it in with the eye, I will duplicate it first because we are working on both eyes and we are using just one uh, contact lens. So it's not going to go back to our fine manager to import it back again. So let's just duplicate it now by clicking on Ctrl J. Now click on Ctrl C, you can just free transform it or you can just drag it from its location right now as you can see. Did I do it this way or you click on Ctrl T to, to move it. So it's now located on the both eyes now. So let's start working. Let's start, let's talk with the first one. So I'll click on the layer. If you want to know which one is the real layer, so just toggle this key over here, click off it. As you can see, switch it on back so I know what you are working on. So let me reduce the opacity. We have to reduce the opacity a little bit first. I think 30 is okay for me. Let's go with 36. So I want to make it the size of the eyeballs. So I'm going to zoom in very well. Then I'll control C. Then I'll reduce it a little bit again. Until it fits in the eyeball. Let's check. Okay, I think it's okay like this. It's okay like this. Then we'll click our OK. But it's still not that looking. It's not looking realistic enough the way we want it to. So we are going to work on that right now. So how are we going to do that now? So we are going to create a layer max on it. Click on the layer max. Then we'll zoom in again. This time around, we'll pick our brush. Pick our brush. Make sure it's, make sure it's at 100% strength. And uh, we reduce the brush size. We we'll clean up the area we don't want it to be. So clean it up right now. We are, blend, we are blending it uh, with the contact lens so that it can fit. So that it won't look obvious. It, it, it seems as if she was wearing the contact lens. So and also all these white edges now it's not making it look realistic also. So we are going to clean that. So just reduce your brush size and trim over the white area to clean it up. As you can see, trim over it. Trim over it gently. Trim away gently. So just very very easy for you guys to do. It's not mandatory though, but if you just want to spice up your work a little bit, you just want to do something out of the ordinary for your model or your clients. So just trim over the area. As 
Ctrl V render the perfectly so that for the first slide so let's let's move to the second eye right now so we'll do the same thing for the other one too so we're going to click on it create a layer mask on it also so we'll zoom in firstly go back to our move to position it very well then reduce the size I think it's come out too big so control C I have to reduce the size a bit too. Reduce it a bit too again. Just adjust it till you see if it Okay, I think I'm liking it this way. So I'll still go back to my brush again. Pick my brush too. Zoom in very well. My opacity. I will reduce it down 36. I can go 32. I can go below that too. So let me start the cleaning right now. You can see. Do it gently. If you make any mistake, just change your brush color to black. Uh, your brush color to white. And go over the area you made mistake to add it back to add the selection back. So now let's trim over this white area too. Trim over it. Cause it will make the uh, contact lens look realistic. Trim over it. Okay, you can see right now, but it seems one is showing more than one. But the one is more brighter than one. The reason is that I'm using the six percent opacity for the other one. Why I'm using thirty? For the uh, other one too. So I'm going to change everything to 30, 30, 30 percent. You can see right now, they are both look okay. So that's it. You can just decide to add any contact name just to spice up your work. These are before and these are after. So thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon, love you guys.